Hey everybody, Tim here with another PHP tutorial. Today we're going to be building a simple PHP MySQL login form. First we want to open up a Dreamweaver CS4. You could use whatever uh, text editor you would like. We're going to create a new PHP file. In the body section, we're going to create a form. Bear with me while we type this out. We're going to have the form. We're going to give it a method of post. Its action is going to be login.php With inside that we're just going to give it a username and we're going to give it an input a type of text we're going to give it a name of username put a couple break tags in here for a password we're going to give it an input type of password name equal to password. Like I said, this is a very simple tutorial. It's not getting into much detail or security. We're just going to go through the fundamentals. We're going to put the input type of submit for the submit button with a name of submit and a value of log in. That's our basic form. If you see here in design view, it's just username, password, login. We're going to save this file as login.php. Oops, saved that wrong. Let's try that again. Login.php. Before we go any farther, we're going to go jump over here into PHP MIME Admin. You see here we have their databases on the left. I'm going to choose my test database. Inside of there, we're going to create a new table. We're just going to call it users. And for a number of fields, we're just going to give it three. Very simple. For the first field, we're going to give it an ID. Second field, we're just going to put username. Third one, we're going to put password. Integer is fine for ID. We're just going to give it a value of 11. Right here, we're going to make sure we set our index to primary. And make sure we check auto in increment. For username, we're going to give it a value a type of varchar. Value over just going to put 50. And for password, we're going to do the same thing. Let's scroll down. We're going to put save. And as you can see up here, it says create table, or table.users has been created with our ID, username, password, and the types that we set for it over here. What we're going to do is just going to insert some dummy data. Go over here to insert. And in the first one, we're just going to leave the ID field blank since I will auto, auto increment because of the primary key. Username, we're just going to type something in. We're just going to, I'll type Timkip. Password, I'm just going to put 123. I'm just going to hit go. And as you can see, it says row inserted, uh, insert ID of 1, and it has value of username Timkip, password of 123. So that's all we need to do in PHP admin, P, PHP my admin. Go back over to Dreamweaver. At the top of your login.php page, I'm going to put a couple breaks. And then we're going to open and close PHP brackets. It'll give us a little room here. And what we need to do first is connect to the database. So you can use whatever um, login information that you have. Also check out the Connect to MySQL database uh, video tutorial on my site or on my YouTube channel uh, if you do not know how to connect. So I'm just going to put in dollar sign host variable I'm on my local site so I'm just going to put root or I'm sorry my host is localhost my user is equal to root my password we're just going to put pass for now equal to nothing and like I said all your information is specific to your server so you can fill in whatever information you need and for DB that is just the title of the database we're going to connect to. In my case, it's going to be test. And then under that, we're going to type in MySQL underscore connect in parentheses. The first one that comes up is host, so we're going to put host, comma, username is just dollar sign user, and the last one is password, so there's some dollar sign pass. Alright, underneath that, we're going to put MySQL select 
db. This will tell MySQL which database we're going to be using. I'm just going to put db variable right there. And now that we sh should be connected to our database, we can go ahead and start querying out some data. For our query, we're just going to put SQL equals parenthesis, or, uh, quotes and semicolon. Inside there, we're going to put select all from our table, which is users, as you can see right here. Right here, users. We're going to put where username is equal to single quotes. And inside the single quotes, we're going to put two double quotes. And then inside the two double quotes, we're going to put two periods. And then inside the two periods, we're going to type in our variable, dollar sign user. And then after the last single quote here, before the last double quote, I'm going to type and password is equal to two single quotes inside of those. Again, two double quotes inside of those, two periods. And then we're going to put password right here, which is pass. And then right here in between the single quote and the ending double quote, we're going to put space limit one. That'll make sure we only draw one row from the database and make sure we have our information correct. And underneath, we're just going to type in res for uh, result. And type in MySQL underscore query. Open and close parentheses, semicolon. Inside here, we're just going to type in what our query is. In our case, dollar sign SQL. And then we're just going to do an if and if statement. I'm going to say if the MySQL num rows of our result, which is res, is equal to one. That means it did um, it has one. Our query returned one result. We're going to do this. And inside there, all we're going to do is I'm just simply going to echo out whether they connected or not, and we're going to end the script right there. Very simple, and it will get the job done. I'm just going to say, you have successfully logged in. And then right after the ending curly bracket of the if statement, we're going to type else. Open and close curly brackets. And we're just going to echo out invalid password, valid log in information. Please return to the previous page. Exit the script again so it doesn't go any farther. Oops. I'm sorry. Up here, I'm putting in the wrong username. We need to get the post variables from our user form down here. So we're just going to put um, if uh, is set, I'm going to put dollar sign post inside of the square brackets, two single quotes. Finish that off, two parentheses. Do that. And then we're going to put the other one right down here after the last one. I'm just going to shift this over to make it look a little neater. And our post var var variable name is going to be username. So if someone fills in the username and submits the form, this code is going to run. Now let's set up some variables. We're going to need our username, and that's going to be underscore post, single quote, username, single quote, square bracket. And then under that, we're going to put dollar sign password equals dollar sign post. And we're just going to put password. All this is in relation to our form down here. We have username and we have a name of password. And I'm going to change these variables just to say dollar sign username and dollar sign password. Go ahead and save that. That should be all we need. Sorry about that again. We're going to push F12 and we're going to preview it in a browser. I'm using uh, Google Chrome. So as you see here, uh, username is and password. If I just hit login, it says invalid login information. Please return to the previous page. I'm going to go back, type in anything else, we'll press login again, invalid login. So let's see if we type Tim Kip and one, two, three. 
hit submit and it says you have successfully logged in. So that is it. It's just a simple code right here. We just do a little if and else statement, check and see if it's posted. We're going to run the script, select the username and password from the database, and if it comes back um, with the returned results, it's going to say you've successfully logged in, and um, or else it's going to say invalid login. And, uh, don't forget to put in your login information for your MySQL database up there, and just a simple form. It's as easy as that. Thank you. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, have a great day.